Today I decided to speedrun every special mission in Bloons TD5 since I could never beat them as a kid. Now our speedrun is going to start as soon as we select our first mission, which is going to be Full House. For this mission, we can only have up to five towers at a time, and our first one is going to be the Monkey Engineer, because with the Engineer, we're only going to have to upgrade it once, and it can solo till about round 20. This is because before the run, I activated the level 4 Engineer's Workshop, making his sentries insanely powerful. So we now have a good amount of time to start grinding some money, and what's a better way to do that than the Banana Farm? The Banana Farm of course drops 40 bananas several times every round, and I'll upgrade it until it reaches Banana Plantation, so we can constantly be getting money. Next after that, we need to go for the Monkey Village for camo detection. By upgrading to Radar Scanner, everything in its vicinity can pop camos, which means we won't have to use specific towers to deal with them. Then for our fourth tower, we're going to go for the Glue Gunner, since its upgrade, Bloom Dissolver, is really good against almost everything, and will keep the balloons from going too far. And by the way, I should probably mention how speedruns for this game even work. They're pretty simple. In order to go fast, we want to pop the balloons as soon as they get on the screen. The longer they travel without getting popped, the more time it takes to reach the next round, so our strategies will always be focusing on that idea. Anyways, back to the strats, we have our fifth tower which is the Super Monkey. I remember loving the Super Monkey as a kid since this thing destroys balloons and always seemed worth the high investment. And turns out Kid Me was correct because this guy is going to be used a lot in this speedrun. It has really fast attack speed, good damage, and once we get it to Sun God, it makes everything so much easier. But it's also really expensive to purchase a Sun God, so we need to do some more preparation first. We'll do things like upgrading our engineer to get sprockets, which makes its turrets even more powerful, and selling our banana farm and using that extra money to buy an upgrade for our monkey village called Monkey Town. This upgrade makes it so that all nearby towers earn 50% more money per pop, so definitely a good replacement for the banana farm. And with these additional upgrades done, we can finally buy our sun god, which is a beautiful sight. Now the rest of this mission is pretty much just getting more sun gods. We no longer really have to worry about losing, and the more sun gods we have, the faster we finish this part of the run. I also like buying a Moab Assassin for round 65 for the final enemies, but yeah, that's special mission number one down. Which leads us to our next mission, Moab Madness, and this is the easiest mission in the game. We get $50,000 to start and need to beat 50 Moabs. So yeah, we just super monkey spam. It's kind of funny how easy this strategy is. Third is Protect Monkey Town, where instead of balloons going from one side of the map to another, they come from both sides to attack the monkey village in the middle. So we'll start with putting an engineer on both sides to keep it safe. These engineers are also even better than normal, since the monkey village is already upgraded to monkey town, meaning we automatically get more money and more attack speed. After that, we can start using a banana farm, and this time we want to get it up to Banana Republic since we'll be using it for most of the run. Then the entire strategy is pretty much just super monkeys. We'll want to place a super monkey on both ends just like our engineers, and work them up to sun gods with epic range. But yeah, that's pretty much our strategy, going from sun god to sun god until finally we reach level 65 and finish it out with the help of some Moab assassins. Which leads us on to our fourth mission, there can only be one. And this sort of invalidates the strategy we've been using till now, because for this mission, we can only use one of each tower. So when I place an engineer down, I can't place another unless I sell this one. We also need to get up to round 85 on this mission instead of 65 since we're in hard mode. But even with these changes, our beginning plans won't be too different. We of course use the engineer to deal with the first 20 rounds and go straight for a banana farm to start raising money. My plan is to get the farm to banana plantation before buying a ninja monkey to deal with the camos, at least for now. Then we'll go back to the farm and get a banana republic to help with the early game money. Next we want to place down a monkey village and get radar scanner before deleting the ninja monkey and replacing him with a super monkey. Which by the way, I kind of did at a terrible time so oops. But anyways, our strategy from here is this. First get laser blast for a super monkey and some super range. Then we can upgrade our engineer to sprockets before getting the jungle drums for the monkey village to make the surrounding towers have 15% faster shots. After that we can get plasma blast for a super monkey, followed by a moab mauler, and monkey town to make even more money. Then finally after all of that we can get a sun god and it's smooth sailing from here. At this point it doesn't really matter which towers we place, we just need to put a tower down and upgrade it to its max. So I got the apache dart ship, a spectre, some moab shredding spikes, and yeah, no point in listing everything off. 
At the end, my map looked like this, so we finished the mission pretty easily. And this leads us to special agents only, which is definitely something. Now one thing I actually forgot to do before my speedrun was buy more tribal turtles, so that was a bit of a time loss, but after that, we got to enact the easiest plan in the world, spamming special agents. The special agents in this game are units you can buy with monkey money, which is something separate from the money we use in our individual missions. And because of this, we can get an army of towers right at the beginning of the mission. All of my special agents also have the pro upgrade, which you get after using them a certain amount of times, and this just makes them even stronger. Like for the tribal turtle, they can throw both spears and coconuts simultaneously to do extra damage. So we're going to spam as many of those as we can fit. We also want to place two meerkat spies on the map since they let us detect camo and some bloomberry bushes to pop any balloons that get a bit too far. By the way, if you're wondering why I don't use these agents for other missions, it's because they're banned. Otherwise, the speedrun would honestly have no purpose. They're only usable here since we literally can't use any other towers. But yeah, that's another mission down. And here's where we also cross over to the last five missions, which are all way harder than the ones we've done before. Also, if you've been enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So our last five missions starts with Covert Pops, where we need to survive 50 rounds with only one life, and all the balloons are camo. So for once, instead of starting with engineers, we're gonna go with two ninja monkeys. Then after that, we have some extra time to get a banana farm out, but we also wanna get a spike factory just for a bit of extra protection. Using ninja monkeys, balloons are gonna leak through, so this just makes sure that they won't take our single life. Next, we'll make sure we get a banana plantation, and then upgrade both ninja monkeys to have both seeking shuriken, which helps them hit multiple balloons in a row, and ninja discipline to get some more attack speed. Now with all that out of the way, we're finally safe enough to get a second banana plantation, which is important if we want to get a sun god. But for now, the sun god's a bit too expensive to get, so there are a few things we want first, like a monkey village with camo detection, an engineer, and a glue gunner. And finally, after we upgrade all of those, it's super monkey time, which we'll be upgrading to a sun god as fast as possible. So once they're upgraded to Plasma Blast and we have around $5,000, we're actually going to sell almost everything on the map to go straight over to the Sun God. Yeah, this guy is just that good. And yeah, that's enough to win. So we'll work on another Super Monkey with whatever money we earn, just cause might as well. And finally, after waiting a bit, we get done with the mission. So now it's time for the Wizard Lord. This challenge is one of my favorites since it gives us a 4-4 tower, something you can never get in the normal game, but because he's so powerful, he eats our most expensive tower each round. Which means what we're going to do is place an engineer down with sentries and immediately get a dart monkey afterwards and upgrade it to the point where it's just barely above the price of an engineer, so the dart monkey dies instead. And we'll continue doing this, slowly making our army of engineers bigger. The reason we want to do this is to keep all of our turrets down. When an engineer goes away, the turrets go with it, and it takes a while for new engineers to make turrets of their own, so this is the best strategy for the early game. Eventually, when we have enough engineers though, it no longer really matters, and we can go full engineer monkeys for the rest of the mission. The one problem is camo, but the wizard can deal with those pretty easily, so we aren't too worried about them. Finally, once we reach round 20, this is where I like to start upgrading my engineers fully. We want some to go the path of sprockets to make the sentry stronger, and some to get cleansing foam, which will remove the camo and regen properties of blooms. Other than that though, we have a pretty easy time taking out the mission, so we only have three left. And thankfully, we have a really good strategy for fast upgrades. In this mission, we need to survive five rounds where all of our towers upgrade once for free at the end of each round. So here's the play. We start out with our engineer, and they can deal with the first easy round by themselves. Then immediately when round 2 starts, we want to place a monkey sub. See, in this mission, your free upgrade will go to the path you have the most upgrades in. So we needed to wait till round 2 to drop the monkey sub, so we could upgrade it to twin gun, and get our free upgrade on path 2. Then after that, we'll just repeat this with more and more monkey subs. The real nice thing about monkey subs is they get ballistic missiles and advanced intel. Ballistic missiles do a ton of damage, and advanced intel gives us more powerful range. And finally, after a bit, we'll get the upgrade first strike capability for free, which destroys Moabs and helps us beat round 5 immediately. But then, we have probably the hardest mission of the speedrun, short-lived. In this mission, any tower we place will disappear after 10 rounds. Now normally this wouldn't be too much of a problem playing casually, but in a speedrun, a single mistake can absolutely ruin the run. So for this mission, I decided to turn off auto rounds so I could keep better track of how long my towers have been out. Then, right before they reach their 10 round limit, I can sell them, making back most of the money I spent, and rebuy them. So we'll start with an engineer right away, and at round 5 also place a banana farm since this mission especially needs money. 
and these will be our two main towers for a while. When replacing the engineer, I want to place a new one and then delete the old one, hopefully giving it enough time to spawn some turrets. But it's scary since we really don't want to lose any money by missing the sell window. At least the banana farm is less stressful though, since we just have to sell and rebuy. Next, once we reach round 29, I spend a little extra time paused to buy a monkey village and glue gunner. We need the monkey village for camo detection, and the glue gunner will be our new main source of damage. And this strategy was working really well, until it wasn't. I'm not exactly sure what I messed up on, but we still had plenty of lives so it didn't really matter, and I held out until I got my first super monkey at round 40. I also got the monkey town upgrade for the monkey village to make our money situation a lot better, and this ended up replacing the banana farm. Then finally, it just became about surviving. So I upgraded to a sun god and just saved up money. I didn't want to buy any more super monkeys since they weren't really needed just yet, so I waited until round 56, turned back on auto rounds, and bought as many super monkeys as I could. And yeah, pretty stressful mission, but we got it done, and that meant there was only one more left to go. And this one went, interestingly, the mission is no escape. For this one, there's no exit for the balloons to go out, Instead, we have a set amount of time to destroy them, and after that time passes, we begin losing lives. Now, we started out like normal with an engineer, and then immediately went to a glue gunner, since the corrosive glue is really good for this mission. I then upgraded my glue gunner all the way to balloon dissolver, before getting a monkey village to deal with camos. Then, with all those preparations out of the way, we could get a super monkey, since we wanted a sun god. But here's where I realized my mistake. See, I was supposed to have my glue gunner within the radius of my monkey tower, but they were just outside of it. So all I could do was hope to survive until finally I could get a sun god, but yeah, that was really uncomfortable. At least after getting the sun god, we could get monkey town, which barely put my glue gunner in the radius, and we were back in business. So I could finally finish out the mission with a bunch more super monkeys, and a final time of 109.15. And that's going to give me second place on speedrun.com, so I'll take it. Alright, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.